Hello, Twin Peak Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria Adventure Maps and Mods. We're playing the story of Blue Cloud, of course, which is the Dark Souls mod made by Tim with a horribly long last name uh, that I'll never be able to say on camera. So anyway, in our last episode, we managed to escape the Earth Temple, and uh, we sort of went for a little bit of an adventure explorer type thing here uh, to the left of town. And we found the peaks of, like I said, Twin Peaks of Azza something or other. I can't remember their full name, but uh, I'm sure someone in the uh, in the comments knows it if you really want. Um, but the main thing here is uh, I'm just sort of looking around. We, we managed to open a golden chest. It didn't give us anything super, super good, like, I don't know, hookshot or rocket boots, you know. But um, all in all, it wasn't a waste, I don't think. Um, we're kind of getting full of materials again, unfortunately. I need to go back to town, and I'm actually full on mana, so it's time to get some spells, because we have maximum mana already, this early on in the game. It's kind of interesting. Alright, a sign. Battle potions. Yeah, that's true. They're also handy for getting yourself killed if you don't know what you're doing. So, if you don't know, if you're really a newbie, battle potions uh, just make more monsters spawn faster. Pretty sure I was up there, seeing as there's no more vines. Kind of using the vines to remember where I've been or not. That's kind of why I use the boomerang in this situation. Um, anywhere that I've cleared out to the roof, I've been before. And anywhere that I have not, I probably haven't. It's what I try to use anyway. So like, I found this chest of stuff that I barely have enough space for. So, you know, that's kind of fun. So uh, yeah, how you guys doing? You enjoying the series? Uh, for today's episode, I'm just sort of planning on exploring around, nothing too exciting. I might do one or two more of these exploring ones before I go back to the Earth Temple. Uh, I might find the next dungeon or something, but uh, I do want to clear out the Earth Temple a little bit more. Uh, see if I find, find anything good. And I do have to fight that boss again, of course. Okay, uh, might have been here before. Where are we? What is that blue glow? I do not know. I don't think I've been here. I imagine this is the passage underneath the peaks. Yeah. Okay, so I went up here the first time. So that's handy. Also, I'm basically at town again. So I've gone all the way back down. That's that's fine. So that switch just opens. Yeah, it just closes the door back and forth. No problem. Okay, so the left, well, I don't know, will take us to the other side of the mountains on the bottom, probably. I was hoping I could clear out all of the uh, caves on the inside. I might have missed some, but I'm trying to get most of it at least. In case there's some awesome treasures, like that one golden chest, which wasn't bad. Alright, another little chest. Some more flaming arrows and regeneration potions. I do like regeneration potions actually, they're one of my favorite boss potions. Because you regen so much faster. Instead of having to wait one minute for your healing cooldown all the time. And yes, someone has mentioned that the uh, cooked chicken is one of the best ones for eating for during boss fights because uh, it has no cooldown timer. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. This looks like I did come this way. So, is it safe to say I've cleared this place out? Is it sort of safe? I don't know if I've been down through all this yet. I think I fell down that long pit. Yeah, I missed this here. Alright. Uh, Night Owl potions, flaming arrows. Wow, so 2,000 must be the max. Um, dum -ba -dum, anything? I don't know, I'll leave the lens, pick up Night Owl potions. Shh, I don't know, too much stuff. I need to go back to town and store some of this. I will be setting that up probably in this episode, my teleporting plan. Is this the way I came out? I bet you this is the way I came out when I fell down that long cavern. You know, this is probably a waste of time. <laughs> but just in case, okay, yeah, that is where I fell down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is head back to town and I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll probably sort my inventory out a little bit. And then, uh, you know, I think we'll go either to the top of the mountain or to the Earth Temple to figure out some stuff. Eh, we'll decide that in a minute. All right, folks, so we're back in town, no big deal as I, explained I've stored most of my stuff in the chests I am still gonna have to spend a day uh, uh, sort of uh, organizing all that stuff at some point but for now I'm not too worried about it I've got lots of random stuff I also I'm gonna have to go through the guide and figure out what I can craft and all that but uh, 
for now I don't have all that many Dark Souls anyway. Uh, so yeah, what I want to do is head back down here and I want to find that jungle bit again. Oh look, there was still something up to the top left that I haven't done. Interesting. So I've been over there. That's the up and around bit. So there is still um, something sort of at the top of that pit. I wonder if I should like throw a bomb at it on my way down and then come out or teleport and then do it again. Hmm, you know, that wouldn't be too hard actually. Because it's only one thick, right? It's only one thick. Oh, I'm such a good guy closing the door. Okay, let's see if I can do this. This, this might be interesting. Wish me luck. It's all, it's all on the timing. Oh, it's right there. Okay, that's quite close. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm sure I'll get it this time. <laughs> I'm just interested in what's over there. Okay, I think that'll hit it. Kablooey. Might need another one. We'll see if I can get in. I'll, I'll be holding left this time, see if I can make it in. Yeah. Oh, it's a door wall. I can't actually blow it up, I don't think. Like a, a switch wall. Shoot. Well, there goes my amazing strategy. <laughs> the game is too clever for me. I can't actually do that. Ah. Oh, well. I thought that might be a cool trick or something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold right on the way down. It's not a good idea. <laughs> I was actually thinking, you know, I haven't died the last episode and this episode. I was doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, okay, just don't touch any buttons. You'll land in the water at the bottom. Hopefully I'll pick the Dark Souls up on the way by. Good. That's kind of the important thing. There. Okay, well, never mind all the extra little uh, tombstones and all that. I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, we're going all the way to the bottom of here, and then I'm going to go to that... Oh, right, try not to die on the way down. That would be handy. I'm, I'm assuming I've pretty much explored all the little side passages here in the normal Earth Temple. I'm just going to call it, like, the, the normal Earth Temple. Um, but I'm pretty sure over in the jungle bit, there's a few things I haven't done. Um, and there was that running jump place that I can't remember how to get to. But I'll, I'll sort of spend some time today's episode exploring it. If I don't find everything, which I probably won't, on camera, then what I'll end up doing is coming back later. So this, where am I? Greater magic, oh, I should actually do that now that I'm down here. So if I die, I will go back to town and then uh, I can come back here. Ow. And then if I die, I can just teleport right back down to the bottom. Oops. Oops, I did not mean to shoot a bomb. Okay, that, that was not so good. Whatever I was doing... Oh, come on, game! Stupid poison. Ah! <laughs> and now it's all dark. Am I blinded? Yeah. Come on. Go away, blind. Blind again. Get... Stop. Stop it. Stop it! I hate this place. <laughs> no, will you please just let me get up here? I can't... Trying to remember what's even up that way. Never mind, it's death. It's death. I don't want to go that way anymore. It's a horrible idea. Whatever's up there, it's just gonna kill me. I can't believe I've like forgotten this dungeon completely. It's been like two days since I've played and I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, so there's like uh skeleton droppers up there, that's lovely. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I remember going this way, and then there was like a wall up here. Yeah, I think I had to blow that up golden chest that was unlocked. See, yeah, I've left a lot of stuff. I probably need to go through here and then, like, double open everything. Spike necklaces. I'm looking for that one uh, sign that says there's adventure beyond here or something. That's where I'm trying to get to. Try not to drown either, of course. Okay, now which way did I go? Did I go down here or did I go up? Um... I'm actually pretty sure I must have gone up because I don't remember getting this stuff. I probably would have picked up an iron skin potion and I probably would have blown those up. So let's see what's over here that I've missed. Oh, take that. A heart! Well, I will take a heart. So is like the first dungeon enough to get you to max life and health if you spend enough time here? Is that like... Is that what this game is telling me? That I could actually have maximum everything just from the first dungeon? Um, I don't think there's anything over there. 
probably shouldn't just try bombing my way through all that. So let's head on up. Luckily all these uh, spiked arrows are killing all the skeletons for me and giving me free dark souls, which is nice. Okay. Breathe. Breathe air, young blue. Blue cloud. Okay, we're getting towards the jungle. That was just a normal shadow chest. There are lots of locked ones that I'm never going to remember later on. Never going to remember. Okay. Well, this is looking pretty jungly, right? Quite jungly, in fact. I still don't really have any better weapons than last time, unfortunately. I need some air. Where's the air? No bees. Okay. I think I'm okay. All right. Whew. So this was the doom spot. I remember this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. No. Let me close the door for a second. This was the sign that says you should rest. No, no. I'm looking for the adventure sign. But I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. Ah, oh, that means I have to go through that watery death bit again. Ugh. Well, hope you guys are in for a bit more pain and suffering. I'm sure everyone loves it when blue suffers. <laughs> I did clear all that out. Alright. So there is a lot of hornets. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use some jester arrows here. I do have a pretty good bow. Hasty gold bow. Let's do it. It's piercing, right? So it can hit more than one at a time. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Don't want to waste all my awesome arrows. But I think that was a success. Perhaps even a triumph. Alright. Gotta kill this thing. I do have the cloud in the bottle this time, which I did not have last time. I wish I had, like, more powerful weapons. Oh, right. Spikes everywhere. Don't forget. Spikes everywhere. I probably missed the sign. There's definitely a sign somewhere. Oh, right. This part. This part's great. Okay. Well, I'm hoping to make it through here without cheating with my, uh, with my, um, what's it called? My mirror so much. Because <laughs> last time I had to, like, I, oh, I don't know. I died a lot, obviously. You, you can tell by the number of uh, tombstones down here. <laughs> Although this one's not too bad, actually. Like, oops. No, no. No. What am I doing with using a boomerang on those things? Um, I think I actually made it through pretty good. Less bees, less man-eaters. There you go. No problem. So I'm pretty sure I'm heading the right way to the parts where I missed stuff. Will you... Gotcha. Everybody must die. In fact, just because it's so hard to get down here, I will reset my thing. There we go. And on the off chance that uh, I die, you know, the off chance, the very, very unlikely and rare, oh, this place. I hate this place. I'm jumping on the switch that spawns bats, aren't I? That's probably exactly what I'm doing. Aw, oh, Tim, why would you make that jump just a little bit too high? Even for a double jump. That's not very nice, Tim. Come on. Let's, let's try to avoid some of the bat traps. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! No! Bats of doom. This is the worst room ever invented. It's totally the worst room ever invented. Bees and bat spawning traps. Did I get that? Yeah, I got that chest before, I remember. Come on. I probably could have gotten here a smarter way. It's probably a better direction. Okay, so there is, like, something up there. But until we can uh, rocket boots and hookshot and stuff, I don't think I can do it. This is the Doom Water Room, for sure. Jump! No, there's no way I'm going to make that. Alright, so, not in a good spot. Um... Even worse, I still don't have water walking potions, so I still can't really fight the boss here. As much as I might want to. What's in this? Bombs, poison dagger, no, nothing I left useful. I wish I had water walking. I, I would actually fight that boss right now if I had, uh, 
Well, I'd have to go get my eye again, but I have an eye at town, at town so it's no big deal. But I, I would fight the Cthulhu eye right now if I had uh, the potion. The sign did say you're supposed to have the potion to fight it. Because this room, how the heck could you fight him down here at the same time, right? Like, I don't know. That's crazy. Crazy talk. I can barely get out of here with, on my own. <laughs> uh, maybe with double jump there's somewhere up left I can get from here. Oop, that was close. Kind of looks like there might be something up here. There's definitely a lot of spikes. I could probably blow up the other glass wall too. No, and go up on the right on the left side. All right, yeah. Here's something. I've, I definitely found something here. Definitely found something. Please be something. A heart. Well, I will take a heart. This is why I came back is to try to find stuff. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't actually walk through that. Ah. Oh. So how could I get? Maybe there's no way to get to the left side yet. No, there's probably not. Huh. Oh, I missed oh, all the stuff that I couldn't carry last time. Right. Um, I'll bring some of it. I've got a couple watches at home. I know you can craft interesting things with the Orb of Light, so I want to bring that. And uh, that's good. All right. So that was good I found that chest again then. Oh, you stupid bees. Oh, there's no way I'm going to make it over. There is no way. No. There's a way. There's a way. Ha ha. Take that game. Ah. Tired of you bees. You must die. I alone am best. Alright. So, I got here before, but where did I go? Did I go up? Did I go down? I must have gone up then. I know there's a couple branches around here that I definitely did not take. I'm, I'm sure, I'm fairly confident. <laughs> Come on game, don't let me down. Don't prove old blue wrong here. No, no, ah. Uh. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is the jellyfish cave, all right. Well, I actually might, I don't mind having some glow sticks if I get any. It's very nice to be able to throw those down pits and stuff. The problem is, yeah, they're just going to keep spawning every time I jump there. Alright. I could probably use some air. Air would be good. Good. Alright, well the good news is, at this point with double jump and all the potions, this dungeon isn't as bad as it was the first time. Okay, now I'm pretty sure, yeah, the first time I came through here, I went on the right side here and up and around. I never went left side. Pretty sure I didn't go this way the first time. Or I thought about it and then changed my mind or something. What? Why are there floating spikes in the middle of nowhere? That is not very nice. Whoever invented floating spikes? It's not very nice. Look at that! Little floating spikes everywhere! Gee whiz! Alright, breathe, breathe, breathe. How am I going to get through that? Am I supposed to blow that wall up? Maybe. Ow! Uh, I don't know. Let's just jump. Not maybe my smartest move, but uh, looks like it worked. Just, what? Well, it's all one thick, so can I mine it? No? Well, what the heck? Why did I go over here then? Is this just a death camp? Is this just a trap to kill Old Blue? Here I was thinking I missed something cool. I don't even know how to get in here normally. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Heal potion. Okay, so that you can blow them up. So it's got to be a way over here. It's got to be something over here. It's got to. I just need more sticky bombs. That's what I need. More sticky bombs. It's all just one fix. So yeah, blow it all up. All right. I was a little bit confused for a second because I don't think I could mine it, but. Nope. Ah, well. Okay, yeah. Still going. Alright, so this is definitely a place to use lots of sticky bombs. Try not to die. Ah, nope. That's not going to help. I am running low on air and not seeing a whole lot of places to breathe. Um, 
have to admit, guys, this is not looking good. <laughs> oh, I probably didn't set my spawn for a long time either. That was a bad idea. Well, I will off camera get back to there because uh, that's going to take a bit. I'm also going to stockpile some stuff before I go back. So I'll see you guys back in the dungeon in a minute. All right, folks, welcome back. I'm a little bit close to where I used to be. Not right there, but I've been setting... It was a safe spot to set my spawn. So uh, I probably should have done that differently, <laughs> thinking about it. In hindsight, that was kind of a dumb thing to do there. I probably should have blown open that wall so that I can just jump past the spikes of doom, but you know, you know how it is. Anyway, welcome back, and uh, yeah, I'm doing my best to not take too much damage, but it's very difficult. This area is brutal, and I'm glad I did not go this way the first time, because I would have been very upset. Uh, as it is, I'm still dying like crazy. So this is where I died. I've recovered my Dark Souls, I believe. Or at least most of them. I don't know if you get them all back 100% or not. But This is where I didn't have enough time to catch my breath. And it's still very hard to catch your breath, to be honest. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's like every time you take a breath, you get more uh, jellyfish. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm at the end. I see a treasure chest. So was all of this pain worth it? Did I get something good for my trouble? Also, there's something over there. I see for sure. Ah, I was trying to switch to my sword, and that was too slow. All right, all right. Come to me. Good. On the on the other hand, I do have a lot of... Uh, what the heck is that? A mutant toad? Mutant toad must die. There you go. No more mutant toads. Okay, well, go left later. First off, I'm going to go across this death trap, uh, which is most definitely a death trap. Make no mistake, folks. This is a death trap if I ever saw one. <laughs> and I bring my fairy out just for the heck of it. <sighs> okay, I can dodge. Oh, of course there's one from the other side. <laughs> good start, good start. I can stand there, they can both miss me. That one will both hit me. Go, go, go. Okay, woohoo. Light Spain. Well, normally that's a really good weapon. Unfortunately, ours is already better, but I already know that there is some crafting for it, so that could be good. Okay, well, I will take that as a good treasure. It's not an upgrade just yet, but I think having the Light Spain around will be good for us. And I can still go to the left, which I have not done yet. Ow. Ow, my face. Oh, look, another one of those shadow keys. Shadow lock chests that need shadow keys. That's at least the third one I've seen since I got to the Earth Temple. I don't know where they all are anymore, but that's at least three. So what, now corruption in this direction? Ugh. After jungle corruption. Doesn't seem very nice. Let's go down first. Try. Bees. Of course there's bees. Oh, I wanted to go... Oh. You know what's really, really good in this situation? Being able to teleport back up here. <laughs> That's what's really, really good in that situation. All right, let's try that again. So I know there's stuff on the left side. I will reset my teleporter. Oh, I'm so glad we have teleporters. Man, I am so glad. Let's try this again. Uh, dump, dump, da da. Give me your chest. Okay, more mana crystals. A gun, though. That's cool. I'll take it. Powerful musket. No promises that I'm going to use guns very much. But uh, I will keep it around for emergencies. Rainy days. Some bosses are much easier with guns and stuff. Okay, well, let's just see where this pit takes us, and then maybe we'll wrap the episode up or something. I mean, uh, oh boy, I hope there's water at the bottom. I really hope, hope... Well, that was lucky, actually, because that could have killed me. Spikes and falling damage would have been not so nice. So thank you, skeleton. You sort of saved my life in a funny way. Okay, well. Turn that. What the heck are we doing? So this looks kind of like one of those uh, corruption pits from Vanilla. I'm wondering if down is just instant death. Probably. There's a lot of death. Ah, shoot. Bad jump. Bad double jump, blue, bad double jump. So if this is if this is still considered the Earth Temple, I mean, 
how big is the Earth Temple? That's my question for you. And who built such a horrible place? Oops. No, I can't quite jump that high, I don't think. For some reason, the birds didn't want to come out and kill me or the bats. Okay, so this is higher up. Probably higher up on that same pit. Uh, what about this side where it's less likely to fall and die? A tart! Well, that was good. I will take it. Life crystal in my belly. Alright, worm. It's time for you to die. Yeah, worms aren't that bad, guys. Come on. Alright, so a good location to probably set my spawn after I fall down and kill myself. Or not my spawn, but you know what I mean. Um, I can actually sneakily jump up there. Don't know if that's where I wanna be. I wanna. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna fall. Okay, good job. Good job, Blue. I don't wanna fall. That's for sure. So I could go up a little bit with a little bit of careful jumping. I kind of get the feeling that this is gonna be one of those roundabouts, roundabouts, working your way up kind of puzzles. So I'll just keep doing this. All right. Well, no, it didn't go the way I was expecting it. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. All right, so now what? There's lots of shadow orbs up there. That's fun. Switch of doom? Yeah, yeah. Should have known. Well, it looks like we get to fight a boss. All right, well, this guy, um, what have I got? Hold on for a sec. Do I have any weapons that are going to be useful against this thing? Um, oh, I do have a superior vile thorn. I don't even know where I got that. But I will take it. Because Vile Thorn is good against this boss. I have none of my magic potions, of course, because I figured I'd never use them. Let's quickly uh, drink some stuff here, though. Soup. Okay, and swiftness. And yeah, I'm going to go with the Vile Thorn. It's pretty good against this boss. For a low B spell. There's also a corrupt goldfish in there. Gotta watch out for those. They're really tough. Or tough in the sense they do a lot of damage. Alright, come here, guy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Here, wormy, wormy, wormy. I wonder if there's, like, too many open holes down there and he has a hard time getting his speed. Well, he got me good that time. I'll give him that. He definitely... You got me good, worm. You got me good. Eater of worlds. This time, you're going to die. You're going to take a lot of damage from this one. Well, maybe not enough. I don't know, maybe there's faster ways to DPS this guy, but I like the Vile Thorn. And we've got so much mana, it recharges pretty quick. Watch out for that corrupt goldfish. Hmm, not as fast as I remember it, honestly. I seem to remember this spell doing even more damage, but... Oh, come on, get out of here. Get out of there. Uh, I don't appreciate that bat. I really don't appreciate it. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, this is not... That, <laughs> that is really not a good spot to be stuck in. Okay, I'm out of mana. I guess this sword does a lot of damage, doesn't it? It is better than any normal weapon for this point in the game. Alright, let's just stab it a bit. I have not broken off a single- oh, come on. I'm stun locked here, I can't even move. Oh, this is not good. I can't get out. Heal! Drink a potion! I can't move! Heal! Drink a potion! I could not drink a potion. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Uh, I have to go back and get those Dark Souls. I think I left uh, spawn pretty close, though. So, Oh, well, I got killed by the Eater of Worlds because I got... I really... I couldn't move. I was just stun locked there. Bounced back and forth, left, right, left, right. I couldn't move. I couldn't jump. Ah, uh, that sucked. All right, I will uh, gather up my inventory, and I'll meet you guys back down there next episode. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day. Better than Blue. Blue died horribly.